All right, hey there, Phil Johnson here. Um, I want to make a quick video on uh, basically give a shout out to Sean Murray and his uh, his script he wrote uh, called The Big Gimpin, um, version three. So I've been trying to uh, laser engrave with my new laser some photos. Uh, of this dog it was a very low quality picture that was given to me uh, like 72 dpi small uh, it was the best it could but it was a, a, of a, a, a friend's friend dog that passed away and so uh, here's some tests that I did uh, I started out at uh, 400 millimeters a second 55 power on, a, on an 80 watt laser at 200 lines per inch. Uh, then I increased that to uh, 70 power from 55, and I still wasn't getting, you know, it was darker, a little better, but you can see on the eyes it was losing some imagery. Now, this was after turning it to black and white and messing with the levels for like an hour, okay? changing the uh, the image in GIMP for about an hour trying to get it to, to look decent. Um, then I increased the lines to 300 lines uh, still at uh, 70 power and I was getting some darkness that I liked. Uh, this is just some imperfections in the wood right there. You can see the eyes get lost. Uh, and then here was 400 lines uh, at 70 power and 400 millimeters a second and it was just getting that uh, the smoke burn then it was uh, the smoke stains it was getting over uh, powered so I've uh, heard of Sean Murray's uh, scripts for a long time and I I didn't actually know that he had one for GIMP I thought it was only for the higher end software so I, I saw today that it was for GIMP and I went out and I said you know 30 bucks I'm willing to try it once uh, let's see especially if it does change if it does save time uh, man I'll be able to whip out photos for customers way quicker and maybe charge a little less just to just to help help make the sale especially if the efforts less so I went and I did the I all I did was pull the image in scale it to 600 dpi from what it was exactly like his instructions and I just did the script save it out. I didn't even get rid of the background. Uh, this one I had to get rid of the background because it was so messy and dark and pixelated it was showed up as black. So I went ahead and I did it. I did the burning. Now not only did I did the burning but I went changed it to 35% uh, power. So that's even less than this one. You can see how faded that one is. Just using the script and I changed it to uh, God, it's not dither, but the threshold, uh, like he shows in his videos. And uh, here's the results. This was at way less power. Half the power. Let me put this next to this one. This is at half the power of that, yet is just about as dark. Look at the quality in the nose. Like, just the image of the nose around the face, the eyes. You can actually still see the eyes. I can actually see the pupils, the shiny spot, everything. All the detail is there. I didn't get rid of the background, and it didn't turn into this ugly black mess. All the, uh, it almost looks 3D. It's so, it's so great. Uh, so the quality is just outstanding. And all I did was use that uh, post processor which has an awesome amazing dithering built into it so I am not getting any kind of kickbacks from Sean Murray I am not getting uh, anything uh, from him but my hat off to him and what he's done he, he has really upped the game to make photos uh, just that much easier to do with a laser Thanks a lot, Sean.